Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Hi, this is Saoz, IT specialist and member at Web Development. You know, these days it feels like we're just trying to survive with all the phone hacking going on. Today, we're going to explore 15 essential tips to help you protect your phone and privacy from hackers. We're talking about the things you can do right now to level up your phone's security. Whether you're student, employ, unemployed, or just starting to think about phone security, this video has something for everyone. Let's get started. Encrypting your cell phone can save you from being hacked and can protect your calls, messages, and critical information. To check if your iPhone is encrypted, go into Touch ID and Passcode, scroll to the bottom and see if data protection is enabled. Typically, this is automatic if you have a passcode enabled. Android users have automatic encryption depending on the type of phone. Additionally, always ensure your phone's software is up to date, as updates often include important security patches. Consider using apps that offer end-to-end -end encryption for your communications. Google Play and Apple's App Store have measures in place to review and vet apps to help ensure that they are safe and secure. Third-party sites may not have that process in place. In fact, some third-party sites may intentionally host malicious apps as part of a broader scam. Granted, cybercriminals have found ways to work around Google and Apple's review process. Yet the chances of downloading a safe app from them are far greater than anywhere else. Furthermore, both Google and Apple are quick to remove malicious apps once discovered, making their stores that much safer. Just as you can lock your phone, you can also lock the SIM card that is used to identify you, the owner, and to connect you to your cellular network. Locking it keeps your phone from being used on any other network than yours. If you own an iPhone, you can lock it by following these simple directions. For other platforms, check out the manufacturer's website. Lock your SIM card with a PIN, personal identification number, to require an identification code for phone calls and cellular data usage. To protect your SIM card or eSIM from others using it for phone calls or cellular data, you can use a SIM PIN. Then, every time you restart your device or remove the SIM card, your SIM card or eSIM will automatically lock and you'll see locked SIM in the status bar. Don't try to guess your SIM PIN. The wrong guess can permanently lock your SIM card or eSIM, which means that you would need a new SIM card or eSIM. One, if you have an iPhone with a single SIM card or eSIM, go to Settings, Cellular, SIM PIN. If you have an iPhone with dual SIM or dual eSIM, go to Settings, Cellular, tap the number you want to modify, SIM PIN. If you have an iPad, go to Settings, Cellular, SIM PIN. Two, turn on your SIM PIN or turn it off. Three, if asked, enter your SIM PIN. If you've never used one, enter the default SIM PIN from your carrier. If you don't know the default SIM PIN, don't try to guess it. Check your carrier's customer service page or the documents that came with your wireless plan, or you can contact your carrier. Tap Done. Never try to guess a SIM PIN or puke code. The wrong guess can permanently lock your SIM card or eSIM, and then you would need a new SIM card or eSIM. If your device asks for a PIN or code that you don't know, here's what to do. Contact the carrier that gave you the SIM card or eSIM. If you aren't sure which carrier to call and have a device with a physical SIM card, remove your iPhone SIM card or iPad SIM card and check the card for the carrier's name or logo. If you aren't sure which carrier to call and your device has an eSIM, go to Settings. Cellular and your carrier will be listed directly above Turn on this line. Ask your carrier to help you unlock your SIM card or eSIM using the default SIM PIN or PUKE code. If you can't unlock your SIM card or eSIM using the SIM PIN or PUKE code or if an alert says PUCK EXHAUSTED, ask for a new SIM card or eSIM. Asterisk. If you enter the wrong SIM PIN too many times, your wireless carrier might be able to give you a personal unlocking key, PUK. Make sure to turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when you're not using them. This can help keep your device secure. Skilled hackers can exploit open Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. And while it's not exactly hacking, some retailers can track your location in stores using Bluetooth for marketing purposes. So, switching it off can also protect your privacy. You can easily turn both off in your settings, and many phones let you do it from a pull-down menu right on your home screen. All right, let's start with the basics of good phone security, your password. Using a strong and unique password is one of the easiest and most effective ways to keep hackers away. A weak password is like giving hackers an open invitation to access your information. 
We're talking about a password that's at least 12 characters long and includes a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Plus, there are password managers that can help you create and securely store all your passwords. Just remember, having a strong password is key to keeping your information safe. Next up, let's talk about two-factor authentication, or 2FA for short. If strong passwords are the first line of defense, consider 2FA the security guard standing right behind them. Even if someone manages to get hold of your password, they'll still need a second form of authentication to get access. Enabling 2FA is usually as simple as flicking a switch in your settings. Most apps and services offer it these days, and it only takes a few seconds to set up. Enable two-factor authentication on all your important accounts. You know those annoying software updates that always seem to pop up at the worst possible time? Yeah, those are actually pretty important. These updates often include patches and fixes for newly discovered vulnerabilities. Hackers are constantly searching for weaknesses in software, and when they find one, they exploit it. Software updates are like patching up those holes before hackers can even find them. Just head over to your settings, find the software update section, and make sure you're running the latest version. Take a few minutes, update your phone, and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing your device is running the latest security patches. We've all been there. You're out and about, your phone's battery is dwindling, and you spot that glorious free Wi-Fi sign. Public Wi-Fi networks, like those found in cafes, airports, and hotels, are often not as secure as you might think. Unlike your home Wi-Fi, which is password protected, public networks are often open or use weak passwords, making it easier for hackers to intercept your data. If you do need to connect to a public network, try to avoid accessing sensitive information like banking apps or online shopping. And if you're frequently on the go, consider investing in a VPN, which creates a secure connection and encrypts your data, even on public Wi-Fi. We'll talk more about VPNs in a bit. All right, let's talk about another powerful tool in your phone security, Arsenal security apps. These apps are like having a personal bodyguard for your phone, working behind the scenes to protect you from malware, phishing attempts, and other threats. Think of security apps as an extra layer of protection, scanning your apps, files, and even your browsing activity for any suspicious behavior. Some popular options include antivirus apps, anti-theft apps, and password managers. A good security app can provide an extra layer of protection and peace of mind, especially if you're frequently downloading apps or browsing the internet on your phone. Take some time to research and choose a reputable security app that fits your needs and budget. We've all been there installing a new app and mindlessly hitting allow to all those permission requests without even thinking twice. But let's be real, do we really need to grant every app access to our camera, microphone, contacts and location? It's easy to get into the habit of just tapping allow, especially when we're excited to try out a new app. However, this can lead to unintended consequences. While some permissions are necessary for the app to function properly, others might be a bit intrusive and could potentially compromise your privacy. Granting unnecessary permissions to apps is like giving strangers keys to your house. You're essentially giving them access to your personal information without really knowing how they'll use it. Before granting any permissions, take a moment to think about whether they're really necessary for the app to function. For instance, does a simple flashlight app really need access to your contacts or location? Probably not. By being mindful of app permissions, you can limit the amount of personal information you share and keep your phone more secure. It's always a good idea to review the permissions an app is asking for and consider if they align with the app's purpose. If something seems off, don't hesitate to deny the permission or look for an alternative app that respects your privacy. Remember, your personal information is valuable and it's up to you to protect it. Let's face it, losing all the data on our phones, our photos, messages, contacts would be a nightmare. Whether it's due to a hardware failure, a lost or stolen phone, or even a successful hacking attempt, having a backup ensures that your precious data is safe and sound. Most phones offer built-in backup options, either to the cloud or to your computer. Cloud backups, like those offered by Apple and Google, automatically store your data on remote servers, making it accessible from anywhere. 
Make it a habit to regularly back up your phone's data. Having a backup will give you peace of mind knowing that your data is safe. All right, let's talk about VPNs or virtual private networks. These tools are becoming increasingly essential in our digital age. If you're serious about online privacy and security, especially when connecting to public Wi-Fi networks, using a VPN is like activating stealth mode for your phone's internet connection. Public Wi-Fi can be a goldmine for hackers, but a VPN helps keep your data safe. Think of a VPN as a secure tunnel that encrypts your internet traffic, making it nearly impossible for hackers or other third parties to intercept your data. This encryption ensures that even if someone manages to access your data, it will be unreadable. When you connect to a VPN, your internet traffic is routed through a server in a different location, masking your real IP address and making it look like you're browsing from somewhere else. This not only protects your identity, but can also help you access content that might be restricted in your region. It's important to do your research and choose a reputable VPN provider that aligns with your needs and budget. Look for features like no log policies, high-speed connections, and a wide range of server locations. While a VPN might not be necessary for everyone, it's definitely worth considering if you're frequently connecting to public Wi-Fi networks or simply want to add an extra layer of privacy and security to your online activity. In today's world, where data breaches and cyber threats are becoming more common, a VPN can provide peace of mind and protect your personal information from prying eyes. Let's talk about phishing scams, one of the sneakiest tactics hackers use to trick you into giving away your personal information. These scams are becoming increasingly sophisticated, making it harder to distinguish between what's real and what's fake. These scams are like digital traps disguised as legitimate messages or websites designed to steal your passwords, credit card details or other sensitive data. They often mimic trusted entities like banks, online stores or even government agencies to lure you in. You might receive a phishing email that looks like it's from your bank, asking you to verify your account information by clicking on a link. These emails often create a sense of urgency, warning you that your account will be locked if you don't act immediately. The goal of these scams is to trick you into believing you're interacting with a trusted source, when in reality you're handing over your information directly to the hackers. Once they have your details, they can use them to commit fraud, steal your identity, or access your financial accounts. Be cautious of any unsolicited messages or emails asking for your personal information. Always double check the sender's email address and look for any signs of suspicious activity such as spelling errors or unfamiliar links. If you're unsure about the legitimacy of a message or website, contact the organization directly using their official contact information to verify the request. Never click on links or download attachments from unknown sources. Stay vigilant and protect your personal information from falling into the wrong hands. We've covered a lot of ground today, from strong passwords and two-factor authentication to VPNs and phishing scams. But here's the thing, phone security isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process that requires vigilance and regular checkups. Regularly monitor your accounts for any suspicious activity. If you do notice anything suspicious, immediately change your password, contact your bank or service provider, and report the incident. By being proactive and regularly monitoring your accounts, you can significantly reduce the risk of becoming a victim of cybercrime. So there you have it. 10 essential tips to help you keep your phone safe from hackers. Remember, phone security is not about being paranoid, it's about being proactive. By implementing these simple yet effective measures, you can significantly reduce the risk of your phone being compromised and protect your valuable information. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and insights. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.